This is 632. We're going to take a look at special summations. So we're going to find the summation of an arithmetic and geometric sequence. Now, we need to write these down. I know it's gold title, but these are things, these formulas here, we need to memorize. But essentially, there is a special pattern with a geometric and arithmetic sequence. Well, that pattern applies to its summation. So if I wanted to find the sum of, let's just say, 100 terms of an arithmetic sequence, I can use this formula to find that sum instead of actually going through and plugging it in, add, plugging it in, add, plugging it in, add, plugging it in, add. If you do that 100 times, that's going to take you all day. Well, the formula saves us a ton of time. And same idea goes with the geometric sequence. Now, I highlighted the information that you need to know. So if you know it's arithmetic, you need to find the number of terms, you need to find the first term, and you need to find the last term. Once you know those values, you plug it into the formula. Same idea for the geometric, except this time you need to find the number of terms, you need to find your common ratio, and you need to find the first term. Once you know those values, you plug it into the formula. So let's take a look at this example here. Now if you notice, starting at 1 all the way to 35, if you were to count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, you're going to get 35 terms. That's my n. Now let's be careful, right? It's n isn't necessarily just that number there. It's like it's what you're starting. You have to count the number of terms that you're going to have until you end. But I don't know what kind of sequence this is. So let's plug in some values. What if I plugged in 1? 5 minus 2. If I plugged in 2, 10 minus 2. So that gives me uh, 8. If I plugged in 3, 15 minus, I get 13. Okay, so it looks like it's going up 5 every single time. So I know it's an arithmetic sequence. So for the formula to find the summation of an arithmetic sequence, This is the formula we need to know. This is the formula we need to memorize. So I need to know the number of terms. Well, I found that. Bam, 35. So the summation. Now I need to know the first term. So I plugged in 1. I got 3. Plus, I need to know, sorry, this is n. I need to know the last term. So I need to plug in 35. So 5 times 35 minus 2. this by hand. So 15, 17, minus 2. So that's going to be 173. And that's all over 2. Now, from there, the nice thing about it is you just enter that into your calculator. And so your summation of all the terms from 1 to 35 of that arithmetic sequence is going to be 3,000. So look at another one. So counting from 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's 10 terms. We need to figure out what kind of sequence it is. So let's plug in some values. If I plugged in 1, 7 minus 2 is 5. If I plugged in 2, 14 minus 2 is 12. If I plugged in 3, 21 minus 2 is 19. Okay, it's going up by 7 every time. It's arithmetic. So the summation for the arithmetic sequence Is that. So now I need to know my n. So that's 10. My first term, already found it. My last term, plugging in 10, 70 minus 2 is 68. All over by 2. Now I just plug that into my calculator. It goes 365. The hardest part about this is just memorizing the formula. Once you know the formula, you just figure out the values and plug it in. Let's look at another one. So I need to figure out what kind of sequence it is. Okay, so plugging in 1, I get 4 to the 0 power, so that's 1. If I plug in 2, 2 minus 1, 4 to the 1st power, so that's 4. If I plug in 3, 3 to the 3 minus 1, so it's 2, 4 to the 2nd power, okay, 16. So, okay, it's geometric because I'm multiplying by 4 every single time. Now from 1 to 7, 
my n is 7. Okay, so I know it's geometric, so the formula for the geometric is going to be a times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. You find the values, you plug it in. So I need to know the number of terms. Okay, I found that, n equals 7. I need to know the common ratio. What is it being multiplied by? My r is going to be 4. And I need to know my first term. In this case, it happens to be 1. So plug in those values in. 1 times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. And then, you know, it's safer to put that in parentheses. So now we just take that formula and we plug it into our calculator. So that's going to give me 5,461. Let's look at one more. Now, sometimes we can get our sequences like this. We need to know that if you're ever just multiplying by some random value, you need to bring that to the front because it can mess us up. So if I brought that out, just like we're bringing this outside there, from there, I can now go through and figure out the rest of my sequence. Now, it just means at the very end, you multiply everything by 4, right? So from 1 to 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so my n equals 9. Plugging in some values to see what kind of sequence it is. So if I plug in 1, I get 3 to the 0. Okay, that's going to be 1. If I plug in 2, 2 minus 1, okay, so that's 3. If I plug in 3, 3 minus 2, so 2 squared, or 3 squared, it's 9. Okay, it's geometric because we're multiplying by 3 every single time. So I'm going to use the geometric summation formula. So now I just need to know the pieces and plug them in. So I need to know my first term. Well, my first term is 1. Then I need to know the common ratio. Well, I multiplied by 3 every time. I need to know the number of terms. It was 9 minus my common ratio. So you enter that into your calculator, and then at the very end, you're going to multiply that by 3, because, or I'm sorry, by 4. And the reason why you're going to multiply that by 4 is because our summation has this 4 in front of it, right? So that 4 goes there. So we found the summation. This is that piece there, and it's just at the end we'd have to multiply by 4. So what did we learn today? We talked about the summations for the arithmetic and geometric sequence. The goal here, you memorize the formulas. Once you know if it's arithmetic or geometric, you find the pieces of information you need, and you plug it in. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.